So now even Apple introduced the call recording feature in their iPhones, so why not our IoT projects? So with that thought, I'm introducing the voice call recording feature on our own made 4G board and not only that, by the end of the video, I'll also let you know one secret feature of this board. So now, let me show you a quick demo about a demo call recorded on our 4G module. Hello? Hello? Adik? Hello? Isn't that amazing? And now, in this video, I'll show you the step-by-step -step process on all the AT commands required to do the voice call recording on our module. So here for showing the demo, we are using the Techie SMS 4G module, which is based on the SIM A7672S and has built-in microphone and a speaker slot on it. So now if you want to get it, well, we are selling this complete board on our website, techiesms.com, whose purchase link is down in the description. It's an amazing 4G module with built-in GNSS and a lot of features in it. So if you want to check out its complete getting started video, that link I'll also be attaching in the description of this video. And now, let me take you to the computer and show you the AT commands required for the voice call recording. So here's the simple AT debug code which I'll be using for the demo and I'll be using my 4C development board with the Arduino Uno board and make the connection according to this diagram. So in this board, the code is already uploaded. Let's just press the reset button. As you can see, it says Tech SMS 4G development board powering up. And we have to wait for a couple of seconds for the 4G model to boot it up. So it's completely boot up and it's working. I can type AT and as you can see, I got the response here. So now let me show you the command for recording the voice call or voice conversation, you can say. So the command is AT plus CREC is equal to three comma the location and the name of the file. So now here three represents that we want to record the audio for both this microphone built on this 4G model and the audio coming from the other side of the phone call. And here this is the actual location in which it will be stored inside our 4G module. And this is the name of the file. You can change it as per your requirement and the extension is dot amr so currently it is supporting two extension dot amr and dot wav so now if i press enter as you can see i'm getting the error because this command will only work when we are on a call so let's first try to make a call so here i'll make a call to this number which is the e-commerce department of a tech sms stores and let's just enter that command to record the audio oh it's not taking okay now let's just try to enter this command call recording started hello ऑटोमेटिकलीटो यू is the recording stored successfully or not and to play the audio recording the command is this and in this command we first need to specify the location and the name of the file that we want to play and here the last zero represents how many time we want to repeat that audio file here zero means we just want to play it once and here if i write one it will play that same audio file twice and this can go up to 255 but let's just keep it simple let's just type at zero and let's press the enter button and listen to the conversation Okay, so as you can see, we are able to listen to audio conversation and to stop playing this file, this is the command AT plus CCMX stop. So that was all about how you can record the audio conversation and play it as well straight onto the SIM module without any external storage. And now the question is how long we can store the file and how we can visualize what different kind of files are being stored in it. For that, let me first show you the command to show number of files stored inside the memory of SIM module. And the command for that is AT plus FSLS. If I press enter, as you can see, these many files are already stored inside the SIM module. Out of them, the, our file was sample. Dot AMR. And now to check what's the maximum storage capacity of our SIM model, well for that the command is AT plus FSMEM. 
So as you can see, the maximum capacity is of 4 MB. Out of them, we have already utilized around 1 MB of uh, memory storage. And I would tell you the length of the audio file that we can record then. So on the AT command sheet, it is mentioned as you can store one single AMR formatted file up to 0.5 MB. And when we calculated the time of that audio file, then it was around 5 minutes, you can say. So now let's do the calculation. 5 minutes of file will consume 0.5 MB of storage. The maximum storage is of 4 MB. That means we can store up to 8 files. So in total up to 40 minutes of conversation we can store in this model. That's a theoretical calculation. It may change when we try to do it practically. But this was the calculation based upon the data I got. And now another question is once the memory gets full, how we can delete those files? Well, of course we can delete as well. There are two options. One, you can overwrite onto the same audio file. Like if I do the same command with sample.amr, it will delete the previous file and you create a new file. Or else if you want to dedicately delete one file, there is one command, let me show you that. So the command is at plus fsdel is equal to, and here we need to provide the name of the file, for example, sample.amr. As you can see, that file is deleted, and to cross check that, let's just type this command. And now as you can see, we don't have that uh, fourth file, we just have the three files which were already pre-recorded in the module. So those were all the AT commands to record the audio, play the audio, check the memory storage and delete the files as well. So after learning about those 80 commands, now let us implement that learning in a practical working project. So what we did is we wrote a code in which the SIM module will automatically accept the incoming calls. And not only that, once the call is received, it will automatically start the call recording and it will be stored in the SIM module. And after that, we can press a button to listen to the audio conversation recorded by the SIM module. <laughs> let me show you the working demo of the project. So here in the Arduino board, the code for auto call receiving and auto call recording is already uploaded. So now what I'll do is I'll place a call from my phone and let's wait for the module to automatically receive it. Okay, so as you can see, the call got automatically received and now let's test it out. Talking from my smartphone, talking from my smartphone, talking from SIM module, talking from SIM module. And let's just disconnect the call. So now uh, let's see if the call recording got stored here or not. So I'll press this button. Talking from my smartphone. Talking from my smartphone. Talking from SIM modules. Talking from SIM modules. So the recording was perfectly stored. There was just interference because the caller and the receiver mic were very close to each other. But otherwise, the call recording and call receiving features are perfectly working. Now, isn't that an interesting application of this feature? <laughs> well, I know it is, but we do have one more secret feature of our 4G module. Let me tell you. So now if you watch the video carefully, then I said this audio recording AT command will only work when the call is initiated. But if we remove this three and write one, in this AT command, then this AT command will work without a voice call as well. And this time, it will be recording all the conversation happening around this module secretly and store it inside the same module. Interesting, right? And to make it more interesting, we wrote a code in which we can start the recording by sending the SMS to the module and can stop it with another SMS as well and can listen to that conversation whenever we want. <laughs> Let me show you the demo for that. Okay, so this Arduino board is pre-programmed to start and stop the recording based upon the SMS received on our SIM module. So let me show you the demo. So I'll first type as start recording and I'll send this message to this module and now let's wait for the response. Okay, so we got the response as recording started. Let's just uh, record something. Hey, this is Sachin Sony and I am talking from the SIM module. So after you are done with your recording part, uh, you can type out as stop recording and it will stop recording the file into the same module and it will get the response as well. As you can see, it says recording stopped. And now we want to play the audio. Well, you can just type the SMS as play recording and you'll be here. Uh, you'll be able to hear the recording from the speaker. Okay, so we got the response as recording started. And you can also stop this by typing stop playback. 
and we got the response as audio stop and audio stop playing on the speaker. So that's how you can send the SMS from your smartphone and record some secret conversations on our module. So yeah, that was all about how you can do the call recording using a SIM module. And I also told you one secret feature where you can spy and record someone's conversation secretly by just sending an SMS. So how was this feature according to you? Were you aware about it before watching this video? Well, if not, then do click the like button as you learned something new and just tell YouTube algorithm that this video was definitely worth watching. Also share your thoughts down the comments about is this call recording feature really useful for IoT projects or not? Do share your thoughts down in the comments and yeah, that being said, and I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.